guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here, welcome, my name is Katie. So I'm on the floor of my office today because I'm actually packing. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm actually headed out to a trip to Miami with my best friend, Megan. We're gonna have a little girls trip and get some good summer content, so I'm really excited. So I thought I would just take you guys along with me for a little pack with me. I did already do most of the prep stuff, like I just self tan this morning, I painted my nails, painted my toes, I ran some errands yesterday, got like the snacks for the plane, everything like that. Um, so I didn't film that because it was kind of hectic, honestly, but I wanted to film a little pack with me and show you guys what all I'm bringing, how I plan my outfits, everything like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. Kai is very nervous. I think he definitely knows that, like something is going on. If you guys are new here, definitely subscribe down below. I'm going to be doing an entire Miami vlog and take you guys along with me. So definitely feel free to subscribe so you guys don't miss that. We leave in like two hours for the flight. So I'm definitely waiting until the absolute last minute to actually even pack. But let me know down in the comments, do you guys typically pack like days before or do you guys pack last minute? My best friend Megan is someone who likes to pack like she's been packing for like the last two weeks. So she's super put together, but I always feel like I thrive under like last minute pressure. So anyways, let me know down below so I know which one you guys are. Okay, let's get started packing. For my luggage, I showed you guys in my Amazon travel essentials. Kai is like chewing on a toy right now. So if you guys can hear that in the background, sorry. Um, but I showed you guys the luggage in my Amazon travel essentials video. But if you guys didn't see that, I'll link it down below so you guys can watch it. But I'm just bringing these two suitcases from that set. There's like a big one, medium one, and a smaller one. Um, but we're flying Southwest and Southwest lets you have like the medium size as a carry-on. So I'm gonna check this one. And then I'm using my cute little faux croc bag from Princess Polly. It's like a cute little weekender bag as my little other carry-on. So that's what we're packing. I need to figure out what to pack where. So I have all my outfits together, but I don't, like I have this paranoia that I'm gonna like lose or someone's gonna lose my luggage. And so I'm trying to think like, if something were to get lost, what would I be more okay with getting lost? I feel like I'm not okay with anything getting lost, so I don't really know what to do. I also got this really cute little like canvas bag and then just has like a little like logo down there. But I thought this would be really cute for like beach pictures and then also obviously just to like take stuff to the beach. Um, so I really like this one. So, okay, let's start packing. I actually made these cute little like packing checklists a few days ago. I made these on Canva. I don't know how to share the template with you guys because I just like made it myself. But even like a good like piece of paper where you guys can just like write down everything that you need to plan your outfits, all that stuff. So helpful to make sure you don't forget anything. So I just made one where I have like all my toiletries listed out, my clothes and accessories, my beach stuff, and all like my miscellaneous stuff, which is like my tech. And then I also made one of these, which has every single day that I'm gonna be there. And it has like my travel outfit, dinner, sleepwear, or like my breakfast, beach, and then dinner outfits. And that kind of helps me to plan my outfits as well. So I know exactly what I need to pack. And that way I'm not like over packing or under packing and I just have like everything that I need. And I also left a few lines down here for like my Instagram picture outfits because obviously I'm gonna try to shoot more content as well while I'm there, so. So anyways, doing something like this is literally the most helpful thing. Highly recommend. You can probably find a bunch of templates online as for like I did, just make your own. Okay, so this is kind of what my packing situation <laughs> looks like right now. For the most part, I know it looks like super messy, but these are actually like mostly folded and I just have everything that I need to pack for like my outfits or any pictures that I wanted take stuff like that obviously as you guys can see we're doing all neutrals as per usual nothing different there so basically what I do when I pack my outfits is I like to try on everything um, so I'll have kind of like ideas of what I want to do and then I make sure that I try on everything and make sure it works or if like one shirt is really working with some shorts or whatever it may be then I'll like keep trying on other stuff until I find an outfit that like works well together and then after I do that what I actually do once I have like the full final outfit with like accessories and my shoes and everything is I'll just take a picture in the mirror like of the exact outfit so that way when I pack everything, I can just go to my phone and see all the exact outfits that I have already ready to go. So that way I don't have to worry about like what I was gonna pair one thing with or like remembering outfits. It just like helps me so much. So then I just have like a ton of outfits ready to go. So that's what I pretty much did. Another thing that I feel like is super helpful is if you do have like neutrals or if you're just bringing like basic pieces, if you find things that can like go together in multiple ways so you don't have to bring that many pieces. So like, if I have one white top and another white top, I can wear them both with the same jeans. Or if I have like a black tank top, I can wear them with the same jeans or shorts. I feel like that way it just makes it like really versatile and easy to kind of like style and put outfits together and like kind of swap them all around without bringing like an insane amount of clothes.
just finished packing this half of the suitcase and then I still have this one in the little middle part so for this side I just put all of like my jeans in there and then I have all of my shorts down here and underneath here I actually have a bunch of like my dresses in there and on top of that I just put all of my like little crop tops so stuff that didn't take up too much space because I had a little bit more room so that's how I kind of have this one organized right now I think that side is pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this part and then this side I think I'm probably gonna put like active wear maybe or maybe pajamas in here um, and then to put the rest of my clothes in this side okay so I actually ended up deciding because I totally forgot I have to pack a ton of bikinis so I'm actually gonna put all of my bikinis in this little zipper part is I think what I'm gonna do for my bikinis what I brought honestly I kept it pretty simple packing one of these kind of like basic little low back black bikinis or it's not a bikini it's a swimsuit it's a one piece and then i'm bringing this cute little white one from princess polly it's just ribbed and comes with high-waisted bottoms so i'm bringing that one all of my bathing suits honestly most of my bathing suits are black just because i feel like i like the way they look on me better and i like the way they look with like a good tan um and i'm not like i don't really wear colors as you guys know if you watch my channel so most of them are black but i think they're really cute and then I'm bringing this one that I got from Amazon. I actually, if you guys want to see like my whole Amazon bikini haul, I will link that down below as well. I got so many cute bikinis off of Amazon. I feel like it's super hit or miss, but there are seriously so many cute ones. And then that one has matching bottoms. And then I'm bringing this cute little like white print one that I actually got off of Zaffle like years ago, like three years ago when I went to Miami. Actually the first time I met Megan in Miami. So it's kind of fun. I'm bringing that one. And then I'm bringing this cute little one from Princess Paul. You guys can't really see what it looks like, but it's basically one of those that you just like wrap around your stomach and then tie. Really cute, a little sexy. Uh, I feel like it's like good for Miami. Haven't had a chance to wear that yet because I'm not gonna wear it to my neighborhood pool. So bringing that one and it also has, it's with the matching bottoms. What else? And there's this one, which is super cute. I actually got it from Nasty Gal. I still haven't exactly figured out how to put it on, um, but basically it just looks like this. And then, and then this piece ties up and over your shoulders. So it's like a one shouldered bikini. That one, I didn't like the matching bottoms with, but they like, didn't fit me super well. So I'm taking these ones that I got from Forever 21 in a haul, nice and high-waisted. And then I just got a few basic other black bikinis. I feel like I just never know like, what's gonna fit me or what will look good. So I feel like I'm like over packing when it comes to the bikinis. Okay, those all fit seriously so perfectly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this part. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put like my big oversized shirts. I got a ton of like really big white shirts just like this. I got this was like, I think was like a triple XL just so that I can have them as like beach cover ups. I really like the way that those look in photos and everything like that. So I have a few of those in different sizes. I have a, like a linen one and I just have like a plain one. All of that good stuff. And I also got this one from H&M last night. It's like a cute little like white and black striped. So I really like the way that looks. Okay, and then I'm also gonna put like my really big tops in here. So like this one is like huge and fluffy. So it definitely takes up quite a bit of room. So I'm just gonna put that in there as well. I don't wanna roll these. Like I feel like a lot of people roll it, but I don't wanna roll them because I feel like it's gonna make it even more like crinkled and creased, which I don't want. Okay, so I have all of like my bigger shirts over here and I still have a bunch of room. So I'm gonna go ahead and put kind of like my lounge shorts, my sleep stuff, my bras, and then I am bringing like a little bit of athletic wear because we're probably gonna work out at the hotel's gym while we're there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack that in there as well. But that's pretty much like all. I like actually feel really good about myself right now for the fact that I fit all of my clothes in one like medium sized suitcase. So I was really hoping that I wasn't gonna be over packing, but I feel like everything is turning out so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start packing a few bags on this side. That way I don't have to put them anywhere else. I got this super cute like faux leather dupe from Amazon. And I'm also bringing just like a little kind of like either a clutch I can take these parts off or it's like a little shoulder bag. So I'm gonna pack that in there. This one's kind of more bulky. I hope that fits. Maybe I should put it up here. Okay. Okay, I think that's pretty much all that we're gonna be able to fit in this suitcase right now. But that was pretty full. Okay, so if you guys watched my Amazon travel essentials, you guys will have seen these. So what these are is they're just little bags to put your shoes in. So I don't really like to put my shoes just directly in the suitcase because a lot of the times they have like dirt in them and stuff like that. So I like these because you can just pop the shoes in, pull it tight so that nothing is going to like scuff each other. They're not gonna get dirt everywhere. Um, and they're really like not that big either, but it just kind of protects the shoes. And I really like that you can see through so you know what kind of shoe it is. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and start packing all of my shoes in these little bags. Okay, 
Okay, got all my shoes packed, so I have some more room on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this little like bag, and then I got some little like props for the beach as well for like cute pictures. So I found these cute little um, plastic wine glasses. So obviously I'm not gonna bring glass on the beach. And I also got these cute little like fruit bags, which I need some anyways, but I thought this would be so cute for like a little flat lay picture with like some lemons or something like that in it. Um, so I got some of those. And I also got this huge little like white beach blanket that fits two people. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to stuff all of that in there. And then the last thing I'm gonna pack in here at the bottom is this little bag that I, it's not even a bag, it's like this little structured straw purse, I guess. <laughs> it's from Target, um, but I thought it'd be so cute. It's like so perfect for like the beach. So I'm gonna pack that in here. It is structured, so I don't think it'll get damaged. And I do have a little bit of room down here, so I think it should be fine. And then on top of that, I'm gonna pack this little bucket hat. I actually found this from Forever 21. I typically don't like bucket hats, but I thought that this one was just so cute and so perfect. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And that is this side done. Okay, and then this side, I'm gonna go ahead and pack like most of my like my toiletries, my um, like shampoos, conditioners, because I don't have little bottles and me and Megan are gonna be sharing those items. So I'm just gonna bring like my full size bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack those. So for my toiletries, mainly like my things that are liquids or could spill. I'm using these little clear baggies that I got off Amazon. Again, all the links for like everything that I use to pack my stuff will be on my Amazon travel essentials. So go check that out before you comment for links. But I just put my way detox shampoo. So we're gonna be getting like ocean water in our hair and pool water, everything like that. And then I have the conditioner and then the body wash. And then in this one, I pretty much have like my whole skincare routine. When I go on vacations, I don't bring like my little like serums or any of the extra stuff. I keep it just super basic just because I don't want to pack that much. So I have like my moisturizer, my Curology, face cleanser, eye makeup remover. And then I have my little pimple patches, makeup wipes, and then toothpaste. I'll put my toothbrush in there as well. And then in this one, I just have all of our like sun protection stuff. So I brought a little spray 15 SPF. I've got the cool down one. And then I have two bottles of these 30 SPF. And then I also have my sunscreen lip balm in there so that's pretty much what I pack in those and then in this bag this is the little toiletry bag I showed you guys again in my Amazon travel essentials I just packed my anti-frizz spray I packed my hairspray um, heat protectant spray my little brush so I can do my low bun I have a little lip mask some q-tips cotton rounds extra hair ties and then on this side I just have all the makeup that I'm bringing when I go on vacation especially the beach I keep it super simple so I just have some like primer tinted moisturizers bronzer blush all that good stuff um, and then on this side it actually has a whole space for a bunch of brushes and it also has like a second row back here, but again, I'm super simple. So I just brought my few staples These are all from girl next door cosmetics by the way definitely go check their brushes out So that's pretty much it for my toiletry bag and then in my little Laura Mercier bag I'm just bringing some this is like my little wellness bag so I have my daily vitamins, I have my probiotics, I have my calm gummies, which you guys know is like my essential to have with me. And then I'm bringing my little winged wellness gummies. These are so good. They recently sent these, absolutely love winged wellness. And I also am bringing these sleepy head ones, which helps you to sleep. So that's my little like vitamin wellness bag. And then I'm also bringing my little jewelry case with all of my necklaces. Most of these are from Miranda Fry. And then I just have a few hoops and some other jewelry. So, so that is all of the jewelry that I am bringing. This is it for my big suitcase. Now we're gonna move on to my little carry-on. For my carry-on, like I showed you earlier, I'm just using this bag. It doesn't fit a lot, but it's just a good size for a little decent carry-on. So I'm bringing my main purse in this bag just so I have access to it. I don't wanna take all of my stuff out of here because obviously I'm gonna be using it on the trip. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And I'm also taking with me a bunch of little bars. So I got a bunch of these little go macro bars. These are really good like snacks or just whenever I need something. Um, I'm going to bring my deodorant with me so I can reapply after I have plain anxiety. Um, I'm going to bring a water bottle for right now. Obviously I'm going to have to empty it before I go through TSA, but I'm going to bring my little water bottle. I'm bringing my little white silk mask. And then I'm also bringing my laptop. This has like my laptop, my iPad. It has all of my chargers. It has my headphones, has my SD card readers, my extra chargers and everything for this camera. And then I'll also put this camera in here as well whenever I get on the plane. So gonna pop all of this in there and then we are ready to go. Okay, I have everything packed, but I wanted to show you guys this little thing that I got off Amazon. So it actually weighs your luggage for you. So you just hook it on your luggage and you hold it up and it shows you exactly how much it is. So that way you don't have to worry about it like being over or anything like that whenever you get to check your bag. Cause that's the worst whenever I feel like you have all of your stuff put in a bag and then it's over the 50 pound limit and you have to like take stuff out in the middle of the airport while you're trying to get to your flight. It's just stressful. So I really like this one and you just lift it up. And mine is exactly 41.6 pounds, beautiful. All right, 
I'll link this below if you guys want to check it out. All right, you guys, so that is all of my stuff packed. That is everything that I am bringing to Miami. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little pack with me. Like I said, definitely stay tuned for the Miami vlog because I will be starting that in approximately five minutes. Our ride is coming to pick us up literally at 3 p.m. It is 2.55 right now. So I need to get dressed, put my little airport outfit on, and then start the next vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.